Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 18 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. Dig and hide. Practically I will do the mole all along this entire video. I will dig in order to level some table accents to the ground and I will start connecting the buildings to the electrical cables and each cable must be hidden. At this stage of the project, now that all the buildings are finally in position, all efforts need to be focused on details. Only by multiplying the details you can approach a semblance of realism. Hi everyone, before start digging and hiding, let's talk for a moment about adapters, cables, connectors and something else. These kind of uh, buildings generally come with two types of adapters. This one is the first one. You simply need to remove the cover and insert three 1.5 volts WA uh, batteries. And uh, uh, it's the uh, most standard adapter. Uh, certainly all along the season you will have to replace the batteries multiple times and this is well suited if you have a small amount of uh, buildings and all concentrated in the same place and if you don't and need uh, to have all the buildings switched on all the time second type of adapter this one if you remove the uh, cover you can place obviously three 1.5 uh, WA batteries but you have also a switch here on and off because you can connect an AC adapter to it. This is a more smart solution. Not every building has uh, this kind of uh, adapter inside and uh, um, generally um, today they tend to have this solution because uh, Lemax uh, uh, place it on the market and their proper adapters. So, uh, this kind of adapter, yes, is well suited. You just need to uh, plug the adapter in here and you will switch on uh, the uh, building without a problem. You don't uh, need any more to replace uh, uh, batteries. Of course, this is as a limitation. The length of the cord. If uh, my building is here, right on the edge of the layout, I don't need to have another type of cord, another type of uh, electrical cable, just because uh, simply I will insert uh, the um, uh, I will insert the plug of the uh, adapter into the building and I will switch on I will switch it on uh, because uh, my adapter will be either just here in proximity of the edge of the layout. But if my building is in the middle of the layout like Nora's Christmas Boutique down there, the length of the cord won't be sufficient, won't be uh, long enough to let me uh, cover all the distance between the building and the edge of the layout and proceed down on the floor to every um, adapter I have. So what you will need? You will need to cut the, uh, the cord of the adapter like I did in this case. Let me just show you. This is uh, for the cable for Morrison Manor and uh, this is Morrison Manor. I will simply uh, <coughs> move it to the right because I needed space right now. What I did, I cut, and this is a solution, but I will show you another solution. Uh, obviously, I cutted here the cord that was connected to this adapter, or maybe this one, I don't remember sincerely. Then I... Mm, I soldered the cables together and I protected the cables and I've made a prolongation of the uh, cable, of the cord. So now I will have enough uh, 
uh, length to, uh, to connect the cable, uh, even if it is in plain middle of the layout, and go to the edge of the layout to be connected to the adapter. This was the first solution I adapted. And by the way, this kind of, uh, of plug is well suited for um, latest model of uh, buildings, uh, the ones that have the uh, light bulb detached from the cord, because initially uh, all the cords from uh, Lemax were uh, this type of uh, cords with the light bulb directly connected to the cord with impossibility to plug or unplug it. So I've done the same thing with this cord. This is for uh, Hills View In. I placed it uh, just uh, uh, next to the windmill. And uh, here we go. Uh, here it is another solution. The f one of the first solutions I've adopted. I've simply connected uh, the uh, wires uh, together. Then I've used some, uh, some tape to protect um, the uh, cords themselves. Not the perfect solution. Uh, mm, now I use this kind of solution. I, I connect the first uh, uh, cord, the original cord, with uh, this kind of uh, uh, plug. There are male and fem female, of course, uh, in order to let you do some prolongation of, the, of each cord. And uh, you simply need to mark the positive and, and negative pole of uh, the cord, because <laughs> when um, the cables are the same color, you need to identify what is positive and what is uh, negative. Uh, in this case, I generally use red or red and black for positive and plain black for uh, negative. This one is another solution. I use two kinds of uh, uh, wire cables, of electrical cables. I use uh, plain, and by the way, these are uh, speaker cables, uh, 0.75 square millimeters. Don't worry, I will put the, tra the conversion right up here somewhere. And uh, these is, uh, th those are uh, speaker cables. This one has uh, uh, just a simply uh, plain white for both cables. This is uh, red and black, split uh, red for positive and black for uh, negative. I use uh, white uh, cable uh, where I'm still on the layout, white on white. Let's have white on white is uh, can easily be hided. If I use red and the black uh, near the white, I have some more difficulties to hide it. So uh, once uh, I've connected, and these are the single uh, plugs I used, this one. So uh, as I'm still on the uh, layout, on the surface of the layout, I use uh, white. Then if I need uh, some more prolongation, I will use uh, red and black, simply because I need to have uh, quickly access to uh, positive and negative. When I work uh, below the main stage for connecting each cable, I need to identify precisely the cables. Uh, I know uh, usually you have to prepare all the connections or the cords connected to positive or negative in advance, but sometimes I need to work. Uh, down there, under the table, under the, um, the plywood planks, and I also forgot, I label each cord with the name of the building and the voltage corresponding to the right AC adapter. Why? Simply because I have some uh, buildings and other things that are 4.5 volts and need to be connected to 4.5 volts AC adapters. And in some other case, like for uh, this uh, little uh, shop here, and by the way, this shop uh, was uh, absolutely with, oops, I need some more gluing there. Uh, 
um, need, uh, was uh, the lighting for this building was absolutely absent. So I've uh, glued a simple LED connected to some very thin cables. Uh, here we go. And then I've uh, made the cord as, as, as always. And this kind of uh, uh, shop need a tree. A volt adapter connected to it so uh, that's the reason why I label each, uh, each, um, each cable once I've uh, <coughs> deployed all the cable uh, all along the layout and down uh, under the plywood <laughs> I will be in trouble if I connect the uh, 3 volt cord uh, to the 4.5 a volt adapter, the LED will simply broke, will simply blow. And then I've talked about uh, this uh, plug, and don't worry, I will certainly place uh, some links for you down uh, in the comments if uh, you need them. Then I use uh, this kind of AC adapter. You can uh, see that I've marked this one 3 volt and this one 4.5 volts. I use a um, <coughs> uh, multi-switchable uh, voltage um, adapters. This one goes for, from 3 volt up to 12 volts and uh, it has uh, an output of uh, 2000 milliamps. Uh, this is 2 amps you just need to have a very high amperage to be uh, useful. And I will explain this to you in uh, just a few uh, seconds. And this one obviously is uh, switched to 3 volts. Let's imagine for a moment that uh, you have to connect all the buildings to one of these adapters. Right now I have around uh, uh, 46 uh, buildings on the layout. Uh, still need uh, uh, all the um, uh, street lamps to be placed, so I will reach probably around 60, um, 60 units to be powered. This means to have 60 of these AC adapters installed under the plywood. Impossible too space, too much uh, absorption. So I had to find a solution. And the solution is this cable, an octopus cable, a split cable. This is a very smart solution. I've adopted it, uh, I think, five or six years ago. It's a cable used in uh, CCTV uh, circuits for uh, splitting uh, um, camera signals uh, into the same uh, recorder. But you can use also it for um, powering uh, purposes. If you connect this plug, this female, female plug, to the male plug of the adapter, you divide it by 8 in this case 2, 4, 6, 8, the amount of AC adapters that you will uh, need. Very smart solution. Uh, I know I need to put a link for this kind of uh, split cables uh, down below and I will put it for you. Remember this is the the very best solution you can adopt. The split cables come from, uh, for, from uh, three split uh, cords like this one and uh, up to eight uh, split uh, cords. This is the best solution you will find to, uh, to bring uh, electricity to every and single one of your building. And that's all for this uh, long introduction. Now let's start the hard uh, work.
let's start with the digging the first thing I will do you certainly remember this tool my old uh, a soldering gun that I've used many weeks ago, many months ago to dig into the styrofoam in order to create my riverbed. I will use it massively also in this video. And by the way, yesterday the uh, reviews for this building, the uh, Bellows and Company blacksmith uh, went out so now I placed the building where I marked it uh, last time it will be there for the rest of the time still need some preparation but this is his place still need to place one more building there here precisely here CL I don't tell you anymore I will not tell you anymore uh, in the next future uh, you, I will place it there once the review will be out so uh, now let's start with the uh, digging around YouTube you see many people using the table accent simply posed on the uh, on the pure ground next to every building I understand that this uh, kind of building needs some uh, um, elevation from the ground so I will walk there, I will uh, climb here and get into the house but these table accents are supposed to be at level ground it's uh, almost impossible that uh, as uh, close to this building you will have some sort of ill let's look it from another side here you will have uh, some sort of eel I don't like it uh, like this way I generally dig into the styrofoam and that's another big advantage of having styrofoam as a ground for all my buildings I can dig into it and I will try to level as much as possible uh, because let's remember that here I have just simply three centimeters, uh, three centimeters of uh, eight, and I will try at least to dig some uh, some more into the uh, into the styrofoam and try to level as much as possible the uh, the, the table accent with the building. Let's do it.
quick update. The depth of the styrofoam wasn't enough. Three centimeters wasn't enough uh, because uh, uh, you have seen that uh, approaching the three centimeters, the uh, styrofoam started to crack. So I decided on the fly, practically at the moment, to practically do a hole instead of just digging to, pra to do a hole uh, into the styrofoam and then place some uh, styrofoam as a supports uh, uh, to the base of the uh, attraction of the table uh, accent here. Uh, so now it is most uh, uh, leveled with the ground, it is acceptable like this. Just having uh, the first uh, piece of styrofoam, styrofoam placed uh, wasn't enough because uh, this little guy here would have been under the ground, under the level ground. So I added, uh, and uh, this girl too would have been under the level ground. So I've added another 9 millimeters thick piece of styrofoam in order to bring those two guys here uh, at ground uh, level and uh, this is uh, done at the moment you just need to adapt to everything you are doing then i've put some tape all around each hole let me just do uh, another one here because i have some more holes there Yes, uh, just remember that uh, the tape uh, will uh, not be visible once I've placed all the snow all, all around the layout. The layout will be filled with snow at the last uh, moment and this tape uh, will not be visible anymore. And uh, using the tape I will avoid the snow to get through the hole and uh, letting the hole visible. So, uh, letting the holes visible. Uh, my bad English. Um, yes, like this, like that. Uh, I don't think this is placed correctly. Yes, now it is placed correctly. And uh, this is all for this little table accent here. Let me just show you how it is leveled now. You can appreciate that it is almost leveled. The two guys there are at level ground. Uh, I don't know if you can appreciate it. Yes, you can have uh, the shoes from everyone are at least upon the ground, upon level ground. So this is uh, done perfectly. I still have some uh, heel effect here, not as pronounced as it was before, not as much as it was before. So now I think this is uh, good enough. Let's proceed with another digging. Next digging will be for the fountain in the middle of the label there. But I forgot something about this uh, table accent here. You have uh, probably noticed that I've placed the switch to on and then added it down uh, there inside the hole between the two uh, levels of supporting styrofoam. This way I don't need to care anymore about this uh, um, table accent here. It will be switched on anyway all along the season, so uh, I just don't need to care about that anymore. If I need to switch it off for, for some reason, I can always have the, uh, the adapter connected to the core, to the cord disconnected, and the, the table action will be switched off. Let's go with the next uh, digging, the, um, the fountain. Then I will need also a digging for uh, the lake because the uh, same, same thing as for this little uh, table accent here, but the lake has uh, four centimeters of depth uh, that can be uh, digged in two. I don't think it is enough. I will try to uh, <laughs> do it very carefully because under 
the lake. I have the main container of the water for the river. So I, I don't want to have a hole there, I just need to have some uh, digging done. And, and I want to avoid to have a hole under the lake, otherwise I can't be sure to <laughs> find a solution in order to sustain the lake once I've uh, done the hole. Let's end next. Uh, uh, digging will be done for the table accent, the highest table accent, the chorus, the family chorus between the two buildings I have on third level down there. And but there I have enough space because under the table accent I have uh, 12 centimeters of uh, styrofoam, so it uh, won't be a problem. And that's all for the digging. So I will have to do a total of one, two, three, four digging. Ah, no, five digging. Also, uh, Santa's uh, family, Santa's uh, and Mrs. Santa's need to be uh, placed at level ground. So I will have to dig into the styrofoam. But there I have eight centimeters of thickness of styrofoam. Uh, let's go. I will certainly not show you everything while I'm doing it because uh, it's uh, simply the same thing over and over. Uh, I will go with uh, the fountain because this is the massive one. I just needed to dig enough for I I think this is uh, half an inch, maybe maybe less, uh, one centimeter, no more. more easier to do the fountain as you may have noticed and uh, not uh, too many holes to cover uh, this one uh, will be filled in with uh, snow and uh, I've also digged here a little more because I will need to plug in uh, the adapter and uh, the plug is one of my long uh, black and green plug so I will need maybe some more extra space to put it in place okay the cleaning is done not completely but anyway it's a less a mess than before the hiding of the cables I will start uh, with this section here I will do the hiding of the cable for the uh, Morrison Manor here and for the uh, table accent there. Then also the same thing for the uh, little candy shop and the pump uh, cable.
nothing complicated, very easy to do, and this is one of the many advantages of using styrofoam. You can dig, dig into it <laughs> at your convenience, and you can just do everything with a styrofoam. Just imagine having a plain wood uh, plank as um, ground, you couldn't do anything, <laughs> and the cables uh, would, uh, will still be uh, visible everywhere. So let's have a quick update. I've done it uh, as uh, you can see very quickly, uh, no more than 10 minutes to do everything. I just tried to go as straight as possible here, and the cable. Uh, the cables are now perfectly hidden under the uh, surface of the styrofoam and these, uh, uh, all these uh, um, paper tape will be, hided, uh, will be hidden under the snow and this is where I, I went over the, the edge of the uh, layout and the building is on top of it. Uh, very quick, very easy, and uh, we, you just have uh, this little uh, piece of uh, wire here, this little piece of cable here still visible, and the connection to the uh, light uh, bulb. You can't avoid it in any way, nothing to be uh, scared. Anyway, the, <coughs> the filming will be done this way, so uh, every light bulb and every cable will not be visible because they will be from the back side. Uh, let's uh, continue with uh, uh, this uh, section here. This uh, will be a little bit more complicated as I have to go under the railroad in order to get over it. But I will use the same technique. Let's go. The only difference between uh, these uh, two uh, parts here is the hole I've made here because I needed the hole to get through with uh, all the cables to get under the railroad and then going uh, over the edge of the layout so I made a uh, hole there and all the cables. This is uh, a large digging too there underneath the tape you have a large uh, digging because uh, I connected uh, two uh, piece of quartz together with my uh, plugs and uh, so I needed some more space uh, here and if you are doubting that uh, the system works let me show you that uh, the table accent is uh, working uh, correctly even the light is on, 
the Morrison Manor is uh, lighted and also my little candy shop down there has the light on and that's uh, all for now everything is working uh, the pump isn't connected obviously because I have no water in the lake but everything is working and having switched uh, the um, having switched the, the table access on early it will be on uh, for all the season I just simply don't like this uh, light here because uh, it's too orange for me all my lights are plain uh, bright white and this one is a little bit too orange but I can't replace it it's, uh, it's something I've already tried I don't know maybe in the future I will find a way to modify it so uh, okay let me just go editing some video some, uh, some part of the video and then I will see you for an update concerning the right side or for my usual outro. Surprise, it's me! Clearly this video was already too long so there was no time for anything else. More explanations than work in this video but at least now you know precisely how I dig and how I hide. The cable hiding will be more tricky in some points, but unfortunately you will need to wait for next part of the series to see how it is done. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.